genie and cuckoo types of light source natural versus artificial light so far in the earlier videos we learned about the relationship between the light and photography photography as we know literally means drawing with light there are many factors that are involved in composing a good quality photograph exposure to light is one such key factor that can have impact on the photo captured in this video we will talk about the light source and how it impacts your photograph depending on the source the light can be categorized in two basic types natural light and artificial light why we get the natural light from all the natural sources in nature like sun moon stars or even the lightning in the sky during thunderstorms artificial light on the other hand is produced man made sources like candles light bulb flashlight headlights etc both these light sources are widely used depending on the preference and the kind of effect the photographer wants to achieve in the photo so what's better artificial or natural light well there is place for both you will be surprised to know that none of these types are better than another like we said the choice simply depends on the situation and personal preference to make a fair comparison between these two types we must understand the basics of natural and artificial light the way we see an object is dependent on how it is illuminated by the available light source light not only determines the darkness or brightness of an object but also the tone mood and the atmosphere of your photograph light brings in emotion in your photo we will cover the impact of light and color sometimes later in this video series but for now let's understand natural and artificial light natural light is a full spectrum light in simple language it means it has all the colors of the rainbow also natural light is dynamic in nature the intensity and color of light that is wavelength changes from time of the day time of the year weather or even the location on the earth natural light is more on the orange red side during mornings and evenings but seems bluish during afternoon so this dynamic nature of light must be considered in advance while planning to take your photograph unlike natural light artificial light cannot change on its own it is static it is available any time of the day with the same intensity and color this aids in planning your photo shoot irrespective of the time weather location etc with the correct artificial light settings and post processing we can even get the effect of shooting an image in a natural light that do without any time restrictions the biggest advantage of natural light is that it is freely available all you need is a camera and a good understanding of using the light source the photographers who mainly like to use a natural light may not end up spending a lot of money on the light setup artificial light on the other hand is a costly affair but allows full control of intensity duration and the amount of light that too with no time constraint photographers who use artificial light may however need a lot of gears like studio strobes speed light fill light backlight and other accessories in the end it doesn't really matter what light source you use whether natural or artificial as photographers you should know how to use the light source to your advantage and bring out the desired emotion in your photo i hope you enjoyed this lesson on types of light source we will continue talking about light in next few videos thank you for watching 
See you in the next video. Your support will help us spread knowledge. Please subscribe to our channel if you love what we do.